Hello everyone, we are going to start from Singtom Tea State from Darjeeling and we will be heading towards Sikkim. Our final destination would be Singosur Bridge in Sikkim. In between, we are going to cover Jamune. The second destination would be a palace which is called Rabdensi Palace. Then heading towards to Peling where we have Skywalk and our final destination would be Singasur Bridge. It's been approximately 10 to 15 minutes that we've started our journey and we've reached a valley called Tugbar from where we would be heading towards Jamune. And if you see on either side of the road there is there are a lot of greenery. You can see tea plantations as well as the forest on the other side of the road. The tea plantation was done by uh, Britishers during those days and that this is one of the main occupation in Darjeeling. Uh, the native of Darjeeling work in tea garden and that's their main source of income. Uh, we are heading towards Jamune again. Uh, you can see either side of the road. It's very beautiful, green. Uh, the scenic view of the nature you can see here. And uh, beautiful tea garden again. Here we are, this is called Jamune. Uh, this is one of the tourist spots here in Darjeeling. Uh, the nearest tourist spot from Darjeeling town and we've reached here. You can see the view here. We have a small uh, boating uh, facility here. And uh, this is um, at the bottom of the uh, hill, uh, at the foothill of the hill and you can see the boating facilities we also have the solar um, plantation here in Darjeeling this is the only solar plantation here we have in Darjeeling people often com come here to enjoy and the other side of this valley you can see a river because it is winter season um, the month of December we find the river a little dry Um, now we are heading towards Peling. It's gonna take approximately you know, two hours to reach Peling, and in between again we will co be covering uh, one other destination before we reach Peling. Uh, that's the um, capital of Sikkim of ancient days. Although the capital now is Gantok, then in the ancient days the capital was different, and we are going to head towards that particular palace. Um, yeah, th these are the villages that we are going to cross or pass through when we travel to our next destination. You can see there are beautiful houses, cottage type of houses and again a uh, beautiful um, scene. Uh, you can see greenery, you can see mountain and a lot of uh, trees, small houses, uh, native people from Darjeeling and Sikkim. I hope you are enjoying this journey with us and if you see on the other side of the road um, you know there's a hill and in between you can see that the, the, there are roads uh, the roads are not very uh, broad like you know we happen to see in other cities um, of India the roads are quite narrow uh, but again yes the heart of the people are very very broad here and if you come here and travel through this narrow road you will definitely enjoy the journey and we are heading towards again yeah the other side of the road is uh sikkim and where we are traveling the 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 other side on the towards the right hand side it is it belongs to Darjeeling and after this bridge once we cross this bridge uh, we will touch Sikkim so this bridge and this river actually divides uh, Darjeeling and Sikkim so you can see the bridge here uh, the bridge is again the hangover uh, bridge the hanging bridge rather and this uh, yeah we are crossing this bridge it is making little noise and for few people it is quite adventurous uh, but uh, for a few other you know they, they kind of get scared to you know cross this bridge 
Um, this is Rangit River, as I mentioned before. Uh, the bridge over was made on, uh, you know, on the top of the Rangit River, and this divides Sikkim and Darjeeling. Um, we have slowed down here a bit just to see how it feels like to, you know, stand here and see the both both the sides of the uh, places. If you see here, th th this was a, this was quite a broad uh, road, but due to the landslide and the climatic condition, the road has been um, you know broken down. Um, the the part of the road has uh, sunk into uh, the river, and you can see here just below this road, uh, you will be able to see the river uh, Rangit again. There was a massive landslide some time ago and now we are going to enter into this tunnel it is gonna it's gonna be a little dark but uh, quite exciting uh, we were a little scared uh, when we entered this tunnel but it's it's nice it's a different experience again it's gonna get dark Yeah, I think we've switched on the uh, phone, um, you know, the flashlight from our mobile and, you know, we are not able to show you um, in live, uh, but it was quite dark when we entered and yeah, you can see here the road was made after dugging the huge mountain and the rock from there and we are going, we, we will have to travel more. Um, we have reached a place called Lake Ship Bazaar. It's a small market again. This is one of the junction. Um, we can move forward to different location from this market like to Ganto and many other destination. Our destination is to reach the ancient palace. So we are going towards ancient palace and taking a, a turn here. And we are going to climb a, a bit here. We are going to first see the palace, the ancient palace in Sikkim. See, you can see again the beautiful uh, view, the nature, the mighty creation of, of our God here. This, this is a small restaurant, it's a, rather not a restaurant, it's a small place where we have our tea. Now we've reached our uh, destination, second destination, the palace and from here we will have to walk for approximately 20 minutes up the hill to reach the palace and enjoy the beauty. Uh, we are going to walk and walk for quite long here. So if you are planning to come here, um, you should be well prepared to walk for uh, quite some time and you will have to wear comfortable shoes. Uh, so that you don't hurt yourself.
right in front of you um, yeah we are going up and we are walking on this bridge we are taking a couple of pictures here just to uh, have those pictures as a memory and the other side of the bridge we are not supposed to enter because it looks like this small crack and they do not want to take the risk which has been blocked uh, for the entry uh, but the other side again is open for the visitors and the tourists uh, see the um, scenic view how beautiful it is yeah there are people who are walking like they're walking on the on normal days on land but there are other people again who are very very scared this side of the bridge is a little damaged and there is um, no entry board hung there and if you see through this glass beneath uh, the people with weak heart will definitely have hard time um, the up above we have this is a monastery if you would want to you know go up we didn't want to go up because there are you know thousands of steps that we will have to climb up and we didn't want to take that uh, pain and we just look from down and we came back to the bridge again see the other side you can see here the Kanchenjunga range which is now covered by the clouds but still even though it's covered the view is beautiful and we are enjoying this nature the greenery all around We've taken a few pictures for our memory and now we are climbing down this place and we are going to head towards Single Shore Bridge in Sikkim again. We would be traveling for another one, one and a half hour to reach the final destination and it is said that this is one of the second highest uh, not one of the this is second highest bridge um, in the world this is again the hanging bridge hanging suspension bridge we are heading towards to uh, we are on the way and in between we lost the track uh, of our map because the data is not so strong here so we had to you know check with the people the native people of this particular place as to where we should head which road to take uh, so we are moving ahead the, uh, the roads are quite steep quite narrow and if you see this uh, there's this waterfall again the road uh, you can see the huge uh, waterfall here um, the road is beautiful the view is beautiful uh, the roads uh, were made after dug in the hill again um, this place Sikkim is very very prone to landslides the land is dry and you know the landslide takes place quite often here um, so we are heading uh, and we are traveling and traveling the um, and then we've reached this bridge so this is the bridge and this is our final destination single shore bridge um, so we are this is the suspension bridge again um, and then the vehicles also passes by this bridge and when it does when vehicle passes by this bridge uh, this bridge kind of you know move um, and it, it's hung in the air and then it kind of it, it kinds of move and there are people who actually get scared but I enjoy that particular experience we are trying to cross this bridge to experience the thrill and um, yeah this bridge is again made on the you know highest uh, little um, above the um, river and it is said that the height is if, if we measure the height is the second highest in the in Asia if we measure the height of the you know the distance between the river and the bridge uh, as per the record it is the second highest uh, hanging bridge the suspension bridge we are trying to cross this bridge the other side of the bridge we have small cafe there and then from there we can head towards other des other places 
if we have enough time um, if we uh, you know come to Darjeeling and Sikkim we should have at least 10 days in hand in order to see all the places all the beautiful places uh, to, uh, to enjoy the nature you should at least have 10 days in hand to see all of these places अब हामी यहाँबाट चाहिँ धेरै टाढो छ हाम्रो अझै यात्रा लामो छ है यो ब्रिज देख्दै हुनुहुन्छ कमसे कम यहाँबाट अझै हामी निकै यात्रा गर्नुपर्नेछ यो ब्रिजको लागि हामी हिँड्न पनि त्यागेको छु एकदमै राम्रो है लामो पनि रहेछ यहाँनिर गाडी पनि कुद्ने गर्दै गर्दैछ एकदमै राम्रो रहेछ अनि We had our lunch and now we have started towards our home. It's going to take 3 hours, 3 and three to 4 hours from here but in between we lost the track of our map and then it took approximately 5 to 6 hours to reach our destination um, but I hope you enjoyed your journey. Let us know if you want to know about different places in Darjeeling.